Hi there, and welcome. My name is John Crow. Welcome to Pro Chef Academy. So today, I hope you really enjoyed the video that I've made for you. Um, it's another technique, another skill that I'd like you to master. Please join me on the journey and we can grow together, grow this community. Like I said, place a comment, hit that subscribe button, share the content, and we'll see you very soon. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to Pro Chef Academy. So today what we're going to do here is we're going to make a very simple creme patisserie. Creme patisserie has a wide variety of uses. You can use it as a filling in uh, pastry dishes like profiteroles or a milfoy or a variety of uses like I said. This recipe is so simple and easy to do. What I have here is like 400 milliliters of uh, milk. I have some vanilla essence or if you have some vanilla pod, fresh vanilla, that is even better about a tablespoon of butter, I have 100 grams uh, of castor sugar, I have a tablespoon of or 40 grams of um, corn flour and four egg yolks. And basically all I got to do is I mix the sugar and the uh, corn flour together with a little bit of milk. And then I add in the rest of the milk, the vanilla. Um, I warm that up. As I warm it up then I add in my four egg yolks um, and warm it up slowly and as it warms up then um, the um, corn flour will be activated and the egg yolks will also cook out. You want to keep agitating and moving this all the time and it will thicken up and then finally then you cut your butter up into small chunks and add it in and make sure it all melts and is incorporated into it and that is basically um, your creme patisserie made. It's just a matter of then putting it into a bowl and allowing it to cool. It's a really simple and easy recipe to do. You can make this in under 10 minutes and I would recommend you use this recipe here. So this is our creme patisserie here that I've made in advance here. As you can see here, mine has been chilled. I made it yesterday and let it chill overnight. This is super smooth, super luscious and we'll be able to use this now going forward, like I said, in profiteroles or a milfoy or a variety of different um, uses in your pastry kitchen. Uh, really simple and easy recipe to do, not a lot of work to it, not a lot of uh, effort needed, and you get a beautiful, consistent uh, creme patisserie. So I invite you to try out this recipe. Like I said, it's an excellent recipe, works really, really well. Welcome back to Pro Chef Academy. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a classic uh, milfoy. Milfoy means a um, thousand layers um, and it's just your puff pastry. So I have some puff pastry here. This is uh, store-bought, okay? Um, and we can you can get some very good quality. Um, that's our, our convenience. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to bake it, kind of bake it uh, blind. So what I've done in the back right here, you can see my tray. I've uh, lined it with parchment here. I have already unrolled this uh, like so uh, and just made sure that it will fit um, my, my uh, dish here at the back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, I rolled it up just so it's easier to um, place, to lift. We are just going to place it on my pre-prepared tray, like so, and we unroll it. There we go, so that fits perfectly on my tray. Now we're gonna cook this at about 200 degrees, okay? So what you're also going to need is you're gonna need another sheet of parchment, like so, and you're also going to need another tray. The tray is gonna act as like a weight on top, because uh, I don't want my pastry to rise very much. I want it to be super, super crisp, but I don't want it to rise. So the next thing, what I have to do is I just want to pierce. Okay, so we're just going to get our fork and we're just going to put indentation. This is going to allow the steam to come through and so that my pastry won't rise. Now you see various recipes where I'm milfoy and they just um, cook it where it does rise and you can get a really, really high uh, milfoy but I want to keep it kind of super thin, super crisp, and it's more fine dining, and it's easier to control and to work with. There's nothing wrong with the other way, but it's just, I like to do it where it's super thin and super crispy. So we have docked it here with my fork. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put my parchment on top. Okay, like so. And then I'm gonna put my tray on top and that's gonna act as a weight so that 
uh, my pastry will rise and I'm going to cook it. I've preheated my oven uh, to 200 degrees and we're going to give it say about 20 minutes there to cook it out. That's the first stage now to make my milfoui. Once your oven is preheated to 200 degrees, we're going to place in our puff pastry. And we're going to give that about 20, 25 minutes now at 200 degrees, and then we're going to check it. So that's our puff pastry in. Okay, so we've just removed our pastry from the oven. Uh, we've given it about 20 minutes here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dust it with some icing sugar to make it nice and sweet. Yeah, like so. And we're going to do this on both sides. And then I'm going to pop this back into the oven for a couple of minutes. Just to sweeten up our pastry. I'm going to give this, like I said, about three, four minutes on each side. And that will sweeten up our pastry. So we've baked our pastry uh, blind here. I've also glazed it on both sides with some icing sugar just to sweeten it up. It also gives it a beautiful shine. Some other uh, parts of your prep here to make a milfoui. I have my strawberries here, which I've washed, I've dried, I've sliced them. The ends then I've cut off and I've diced there at the back. Um, I've dusted with a little bit of icing sugar just to bring up the, uh, the flavor of the strawberries. I have a little bit of frosting made as well. There's two um, kind of presentation methods that you can use. One is with frosting, one is just uh, bar marking with icing sugar, which I'll show you both in the finished product, and my creme patisserie, which I made earlier. And then I also have made a little miniature python bag that I'm gonna fill with some chocolate there that's used with one of the uh, presentation methods. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my carving knife, and I am going to square off my edges, okay? And then I'm going to cut it into three equal pieces. And I'm also then gonna cut these down into individual little rectangles then in order to build it. Now you could make it in one uh, rectangle with the three slices on top built up or just two layers if you wanted to. Um, but it can be a little bit difficult to cut into portions, whereas if you made um, individual portions, I think it's a little bit easier because there's no more cutting involved. It's just a matter of dressing it up. So I'll come back to you in a second there to show you the next stage. We have now cut our puff pastry down into three identical slices. So from that now, we're gonna cut them down into our portions. Okay, to assemble our mille feuille, we've got to start, I'm using a plate here, I'm gonna build it on the plate. So I put a little bit of pastry cream and that is just to keep our puff pastry base in place. Pop that on there like that. The next thing we're gonna do then is we are going to add our creme patisserie. Okay. You could have a nozzle if you wanted to. I'm just putting a little wave like that. Okay, we'll just clean our edge. What I've done then is the chopped up strawberries, I would use that as a filler just down the center. Like that. Because you're trying to keep all the nice shaped strawberries there for the outside. Or you could use them to make a coulis. What you're going to do then is your sliced strawberries and I have left them as you can see there in order three there and then we'll just need three down the other side like so now you could build this as a two layer or three layer it's up to you I want to keep that nice and tight and then if you want to do a second layer all you would need to do is get your sheet of puff pastry and put it on top and build it up. I don't like to have them too high, okay? So what I've done then is I've made my um, fondant icing, which is just um, about 50 grams of icing sugar and about um, a teaspoon of water. I'm gonna pop that on top like so. Okay, just watch your strawberries there. And then to decorate that then, I've made a little miniature piping bag 
I filled it with some chocolate. So we just do lines like that. Like so. And then if you have a cocktail stick, it's just a matter of like that. And go back, clean it, and go back the other way. Like that. And just, you just drag it, okay? And there we have a beautiful strawberry and creme patisserie with fui. Um, nice, crisp, really light, delicate, um, beautiful dessert for the summer. Um, really easy to do. And like I said, I think it's a little bit easier um, if you make them as individuals. You can see I have all my components here ready to make the rest of them. Um, it's a little bit easier, I think, if you make them as individuals, like so. There's no more cutting involved, it's just a matter of eating it. I think two layers is probably enough as well. Um, if you make it three layers, it can be quite high and be quite difficult to eat. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and share to the channel. And we'll see you very soon again.